Hello, my name is Ray Hughes, and I'm an interviewer for the Veterans History Project being conducted by the Cincinnati Hamilton County Public Library here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today's date is the 10th of August, 2016, and we have the honor and privilege of interviewing World War II veteran and U.S. Navy veteran, John Paul Fresca. Yeah. And it's a pleasure to meet you, See you John. Sir. And uh, John, if you would, uh, when were you born and where were you born? I was born January 31st, 1921, 1898 Walker Street. Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio. Ohio. Up by, up by Christ Hospital. In Mount Auburn. In Mount Auburn. But, um, did you have any brothers and sisters, John? I had uh, two sisters and one brother. Uh -huh. uh, the one brother had passed away, and when it, the two young ones died. And uh, the, my sister Jeanette, she lives in uh, Fort Thomas, Kentucky. Uh -huh. Is she and younger? She, she's 88. Oh, younger than you. Yeah, and I was, I was the, old, the first child. What are you, 95 years old right 95 now? 95 January 31st. What were your parents' names, uh, Tom? I was born up by Christ Hospital. Uh, what was your mom and dad's name? My, my mother's name was Philomena. My dad's name was Anthony. I see. And what was your mother's maiden name? B A S I L. Basil. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, what did your father do for a living, John? He worked for Pa's Shoe Company. He was a shoemaker. Uh, what was the name of it? Potter Shoe Company on Fifth uh, Street. Uh, oh, Potter. Yeah. Sure. Forty-four yeah. years. Yeah. And what did he do there? He was a shoe repairman. I see, yeah. He repaired, yeah, were, he repaired shoes. A big company uh, in the Cincinnati area. Yeah. yeah. Did your mother work? No, my mother didn't know that she had any work. She's a housewife. What what uh, school did you go to as a, a youngster? Uh, grade school? And I went to Windsor School uh, over in Walnut Hills. Mm -hmm. Up by Paul and Piano Factory. Okay, yes. And then I went to uh, Commercial. I went to a commercial school, took bookkeeping, typing, and shorthand. That school is no longer in existence. What was the name of that? Commercial Vocational. And where was that located? It was on, on Ashland Avenue in one of the hills. And uh, was that in lieu of going to a regular high school? Yeah. But it's more like a trade school that you were learning. I, I, I was taught bookkeeping, typing, and shorthand. Yeah. How long? How many year course was that? That was a two year course. I see. And how uh, how old were you when you graduated from that? Would you say? Four. From the uh, school of typing and bookkeeping. Well, I, I guess I was about sixteen or fifteen. I forgot. What did you do after that? After you got your uh, high school diploma, so to speak. Did you get a job right away? Uh, I got a job helping me on a peddler wagon. He said peddlers back in house to house peddler. And when you say a peddler wagon, uh, what do you mean by that? Was he was it a truck or a truck? Yeah. Yeah. And what were you peddling? Oh, apples, tomatoes. And Oh, a fruit peddler. A fruit peddler. Okay. What other jobs did you have? Uh, I forgot. I'm 95. I forgot. Did you, uh, well, you graduated with uh, the ability to be a bookkeeper or a typist or shorthand. Did you get a job doing that? Before? No, I just got a job with a meal carrier. Before you went to service? After I came out. Yeah. I'm talking about before you went to service. Uh, did you get a job using any of those skills? Working in a grocery store. Did you? Which yeah. one do you recall? Castrips. Where was that located? It's Sims and Wilkinson. In one of the hills. Uh -huh. 
How long did you work there? I worked there until I went through the service. I see. And uh, if I remember correctly, you joined the service in 1941. Yeah. So uh, you would have been 20 years old when you joined the service? Yeah, that's right. Uh, and you joined, though, on, on Halloween night yeah. or day of yeah. 1941? Yeah, I went to Great Lakes. Why did, what made you join uh, the service then? Well, the reason I joined the Navy, the Navy was because you had your food and your bed with you all the time. And if your ship got sunk, you got a, a clean grave. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, food and clothing and a good and a good clean grave. Yeah, okay. well, we were there. Our ship was never hit though. Yeah, so you joined the. Uh, your choice was the Navy, not yeah. the Air Force or the Army. Oh yeah. yeah. And uh, where did you sign up in the Navy? In Cincinnati or where? In Cincinnati downtown at Fifth and Fifth and at the post office, government building. Fifth and Second Mark. Yeah. Yeah, and between Sycamore and. Uh, Walnut, Walnut, yeah. 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 And you chose the Navy, they didn't choose you? I chose the Navy. Okay. Now you joined before the war started, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. I figured, uh, I always did like the, the Navy, and so I joined before the war started. And, uh, so where did you go for after you signed? Where was the first place you went? Went to Great Lakes. Great Lakes. And that's up at, uh, in, outside in Michigan. In Michigan, is that uh, close to uh, Chicago? Or? Yeah, yeah, right. Well, we have a, well, we had Liberty Island going into Chicago. And what, what were you doing there? Basic training or what? Basic training, yeah. And, and um, do a lot of running and push ups and things like that? Or? Oh, yeah. How long was basic training? About nine weeks, mm -hmm. and uh, then I had nine days off at home, and then they sent me to Mississippi. And that's where I caught the ship. Well, let's go back just one second, though. Uh, were you at the Great Lakes when you were uh, when Pearl Harbor happened? When the Japanese? I, I, I think so. Yeah. I'm just going to see if you recall that. The Japanese uh, attacking Pearl Harbor. It was right around that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So your uh, your nine weeks of basic basic is up. You got seven days off to come home. Yeah, nine yeah. days. Yeah. Did you have a girlfriend at that time or anything? I never had a girlfriend. No. And and from there, from after your nine days were up, where did you go? I think you said Mississippi? Yeah, uh, put me on a ship. We're at in Mississippi. Down around the Gulf? Yeah. What yeah, ship? New Orleans. New Orleans. Uh -huh. New Orleans. Oh, New Orleans. Yeah. What uh, did, did you have to go through any more training after the nine weeks? Or? Yeah, we, we did. What kind of training? A gunnery training. And how to keep your, take care of your room. And where, where did you go through for that gunnery training at though? Right, right there. Where? Down New Orleans. Oh, in New Orleans? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, you recall the name of the base? Algiers. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was, a, it was a, a pretty exciting place, I remember. Yeah, right. Did you get any liberty in Algeria? Yeah, I, in New Orleans. We went across the Mississippi and then down on Canal Street. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you were uh, in gunnery school there? Yeah. Is that right? Right. Um, so that training class, uh, classified you to be a gunner's mate? Is that yeah. what they could say in the Navy? Yeah. yeah. What, did that, what does that mean? I was on 20 millimeters. How big a shell is a 20 millimeter? Oh, I forgot. Uh, 
Well, yeah, yeah, kind of like this, yeah. yeah. Um, and so, after you had uh, gone through gunnery school there, what was the first ship you were put on? The Lawton B. Evans. The Lawton B. Evans. L A W T. Any ship convoy in the North Atlantic or went to Glasgow, Scotland. And the submarines docked off 10 of our ships. On the way to Scotland? Yeah. Because they missed us. I saw, I saw the torpedoes coming right by us. Yeah. We were, we were carrying ammunition. If it were his, I'd have been gone. So you didn't, you didn't have a, a, a bunch of troops on board that time? Or did you have troops on board too? on that uh, convoy. Yeah, we had at least uh, 50, 50 troops. Thank you. Yeah. And, and so you left from Mississippi carrying ammunition in an 80 ship convoy. Yeah. And you made it up to Glasgow, Scotland. That's right. And how many ships did they sink on the way there? 10. Wow. That had to be a, a frightening experience. Yeah. I, uh, I guess when I went out to port side and I saw a ship going down. I just saw, I saw the, uh, the propeller spin around and went down. Oh, jeez. It was a terrible feeling. And the, the uh, men, did they rescue a lot of the men too and out of the ocean? or? Yeah, we had guys from uh, Canada. Canada. I forgot the, the name of it. The boats that, that uh, helped save the, those caught in the water. Mm -hmm. and some of them, some of them come on our ship too. Oh, did they? Yeah. You don't hear much about those convoys and the ships that were sunk on the way over. Yeah. But uh, the terrible loss of life. Oh yeah. And. Uh, how long did you stay at Glasgow uh, very long? About two weeks, and then we came back home. Oh, you came all the way back home? Yeah. Did you have any problem getting back? With no, no problems. No, no problems. Were you carrying anything on the way back? Or just coming back to get more men or supplies? We're back in to get more men. And I had nine days off. Where did you land on the way when you came back? What? Where did you, your ship dock on your way back? In New York. In New York? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. Brooklyn Navy Yard. Yeah. And would you get nine days leave there? Yeah. And what did you do? Well, I just walked around. The, I never did go to a, a saloon. My mother said, don't, don't get yourself drunk. So I had to, me and a, a, a fellow from Chicago, we, we just went visiting me around mm -hmm. to the high, highlights. And when I was in New York, I told you I climbed up the Statue of Liberty. Uh, is that right? Yeah. And what, there's a lot of steps inside the Liberty? Oh, and... yeah. A very interesting trip. It was a beautiful sight. Looking at the Statue of Liberty. I mean, had a wonderful life. Yeah. Um, what other sites did you see around New York then besides the Statue of Liberty? Well, Yankee Stadium. Right. Yeah. Some of the tall buildings, I don't remember the name. They had a lot of tall buildings up there in New York. Yeah. Now, did you spend all nine days up there? Yeah. I see. So uh, when your nine-day leave there in Chicago is up, did you go back on board the uh, Lawton Evans? No, uh, I think I went on board the, uh, the John Einig. The John Einig. E E-I-N-I-G. E-I-N-I-G. That's a uh, Liberty ship also? Yeah, all, all of our Liberty ships. 
And where did you go when you were on board the uh, John Einig? Uh, Einig. You had to leave New York and go somewhere. It's so many years ago. I forgot. That's my parents. That's my parents up there. Mm -hmm. um, trying to remember where you went to after when you left New York on the John Einig. Where did you pick up more supplies and troops at? So long ago, where did where did you go on the Einig to what cities? What? Where where did you travel to on board the Einig? Your second ship. Did you travel back to Europe? I really go back to Europe. I was in North Africa too. How did you get to North Africa on board what ship? I don't know a ship, I don't remember our name. We were at, uh, we, fought, we fought in Africa at uh, Bizzurdi, Bizzurdi, Africa. Mm -hmm. And then we fought at uh, Gila, Sicily. And, and, and then from there we went to Normandy, France. We fought at Normandy, France. And what ship were you on? The Lot B. Evans. Okay, so. Bizerta is in Tunisia, uh, in North Africa, yeah. and that would have been uh, in November, the winter of 1942 and early 43. And then you were at Gila, Sicily, also. Yeah. That was um, that was Operation Husky, if I remember right. That yeah. happened um, uh, July the 10th. Somewhere around uh, yeah. 42. Uh, yeah, and then, and then we went to uh, Normandy, France. Were you there for D Day? No, we went there the second day. The second day? Yeah. And what were you doing? Carrying troops? Or what? Yeah, we had troops, yeah. We did have troops. When you were at Bizerta, did you have troops? Or? We, we always had, we always had, we always had troops. This has happened so long ago, a lot of, a lot of stuff is foggy in my mind. Mm -hmm. It happened so long ago. But all I can say is I've been lucky all my life. Did you have any trouble with um, uh, being shot at in the Mediterranean uh, oh, yeah. from the enemy? We had uh, airplane bombings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any close calls like this? Oh, yeah. Uh, we did have cruise calls. I saw a torpedo going right by our ship. Mm -hmm. They missed us. Where and we were in a convoy, and during a battle, the ships, you know, we always had a wreck. The ships came so close to each other. They were trying to get away from, get away from the enemy. Mm -hmm. It was really a mix-up. I saw some of the ships go down. It, it sucked. They bumped each other and went down. And then we were by ourselves. And we, we went to Glasgow, Scotland. After uh, one of the streets in Glasgow was Secchi Hall Street. Secchi Hall. Secchi Hall. Secchi Hall. Yeah, that's, that's where we were stationed. Uh -huh. uh, we we used to meet there. I never I never did go to a saloon. While you were there, did you ever go down to England? No, I never went to I never went to England. We, we missed England. We were only in Scotland.
Did you go ashore in North Africa? Yeah. Do you recall what cities you went into? Or what part of North Africa you went yeah. into? I forgot a lot of this stuff. Did you bring home any souvenirs from North Africa? No, I never brought any souvenirs. Did you see a lot of natives while you were there? Oh, yeah. Missouri, Missouri, I remember Missouri. Did you go ashore in Sicily? No, I didn't go ashore in Sicily. What about in Normandy? Did you go ashore in Normandy? No, no, heck no. That's too, oh no. Now, did you have to fire your guns while you were in it on board these uh, Liberty ships? Yeah, 20, 20 millimeters. Yeah. I was a gunner on 20 millimeters. How often did you have to fire your weapon? Every morning and every night. You come over early in the morning and every night. Hey, the enemy? Yeah. They come over bombing us. Did you ever shoot down any of them? Oh yeah, I'm sure we did, but they, they never did land where we shot it. They just blew it away and go down until we would never see them. Yeah. We did capture some, some of the boys. Oh, really? We did capture some of them. We brought them home. They were, they were very nice kids. It was a shame we were fighting them. They were good people. Oh. Germans? Yeah, they were very good people. Yeah. Uh, were they Germans or Italians? Germans. Yeah. We had on our ship. We brought them to uh, New Jersey. Right. Uh, from North Africa? No, we brought, we brought them to, yeah, from, from North Africa. Uh -huh. They brought them in, and they, they put them in a prison there in New Jersey. Uh -huh. Yeah. I've had a, I've had a lucky, I've been lucky all my life. But how long did you hang around Normandy? I guess we were there about two weeks. Um, where did you pick up the troops at that you brought to Normandy? Did you land in England and pick them up, or did you go back to Scotland? In Scotland, Scotland. We, we were never in, I was never in England. Okay. We, we picked the troops up, in, the prisoners up in, in Scotland, in Glasgow. What we, uh, and we brought them to Brooklyn. The, uh, the war in Europe was over uh, around May the 8th of 1945. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's when, if I remember right, that's when Germany signed a surrender. Do you remember that, when Germany surrendered? Oh, yeah. Do you recall where you were at? This is a long time. Yeah, I don't remember. Well, what were, the, what were your thoughts uh, when, when Hitler was beaten? What were they going to do with you? Wonderful feeling. Yeah, he was a, he, he really got Germany in trouble. The German people were very good people. But to Hitler, he messed them up. Well, did you think the war was over for good? I was hoping so. I mean, we were still fighting the Japanese. Yeah. Well, it was almost over when we, when we went from the, the Atlantic to the Pacific. The war with Japanese was almost, almost over. When did you go to the Pacific? After the, the war was over in, in the Atlantic. Yeah. How'd you get to the Pacific? By ship. Uh, what ship? Were you on the uh, 
Cape Orange. Cape Horn? Yeah, Cape Horn, Orange. Oh, uh, Orange. Cape Horn. Yeah. Um, when, where did you get on board at the Cape Horn at? I mean, what, where was that at when you got on board it? Which city did you, uh, were you at when you got on board the Cape Orange? I think it was out of New Orleans that day. Mm -hmm. And how did you get to the Pacific on board the Cape Orange? Did you go through the Panama Canal? Oh yeah, we sure did. Yeah. Did you have any trouble doing that? Uh, we had a little, little, little bit of trouble, yeah. Not very much. It's really a strand. It's hard for me to remember all that stuff. I'm 95. But uh, it was a wonderful uh, feeling going through the Panama Canal. After you went through the canal, where did you land at in California? Where did you stop at in California? Did you go to like San Diego or? Yeah, that's it, San Diego. Uh huh. And what did you do while you were there? I just stayed aboard ship. I didn't do, I didn't do anything. You didn't go into town? No. And what, when did you leave uh, San Diego? Where did you go? Then we went to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. and, uh, did you see, uh, did you take any liberty while you were in San Francisco? Yeah, uh, Mar Market Street. And uh, did you go around the Golden Gate Bridge or anything like yeah. that? Yeah. In fact, I walked across the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, Me and some sailors, we walked across. And it came back. We couldn't. We went to an expressway. We weren't allowed to get off. We had to, we had to come back. Oh, really? It yeah. Was, but, um, so you were there for a little bit, and then did they send you to the Pacific? Yeah. We went to Florida. We went to Guam and New Zealand and Australia. A couple of islands. Now, what what was exactly the job of a Liberty ship? We carried troops. And, uh, we were manned the guns. We had uh, 20, mil 20 mil millimeters. Um. When you were in the Pacific, did you get attacked by the Japanese any? Oh yeah, by airplanes. Mm -hmm. But they missed us. They come diving down, dropped their bombs as they missed us. One plane came from this side, one came from that side, and they both missed us. Yeah. Otherwise I wouldn't be here. When you were uh, in the Pacific, did you go ashore in uh, Australia and New Zealand? Yeah. Uh, well, wonderful people. Where, where, where did you go when you were in Australia, for example? What city? Sydney, I think. Sydney. Sydney. Mm -hmm. I used to remember all that stuff. Time's gone by, but I really forgot. Did you? Uh, did the civilians treat you good there in Australia? What? Did the civilians treat you well? Oh, they invited us to go home. Yeah. There were five of us sitting on the corner one time, and a lady came by and invited us to her home and cooked supper for us. Wow. They were wonderful people. New Zealand and Australia. Great people. 
And uh, did you did you go ashore at Guam? Yeah, I, I saw them making a breakwater there. They made a made a breakwater there. Uh huh. I saw them making it. But I think I didn't go ashore. So many years ago, it's hard for me to remember. Were you there when they dropped the atomic bomb? Were you in the Pacific? Where were you when they dropped, when you heard about the atomic bomb being dropped? I think I was in the United States, San Francisco. That's the last ship I was on the Cape Orange. Mm -hmm. I was in San, San Francisco when they dropped the bomb. I was in, in America when they, when they dropped the bomb. So that was August uh, the 6th, 1945. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of, I mean, what was your thoughts when they dropped that bomb? Well, I hope it didn't, I hope it didn't hurt, hurt, kill innocent people. What do you think when they dropped the second one? I hope it would end the war. <coughs> Which I think, I think it did. Yeah, it did. Um, so, that's me uh, up there. Yeah, I'm going to get to that. Uh, when you, uh, so tell me, how did you end up w witnessing the surrender of the Japanese? Were you? I was on the uh, Cape Orange, right. and we went aboard the Missouri. You actually were physically aboard the Missouri? Yeah, they, they let us go up on the Missouri. And were you there when they signed the papers? Yeah, we couldn't see them, but they were in a, in a room. We were, we were aboard ship, and that was all. Mm -hmm. And then they, they came out to us that the war was over. It was a very experience, very interesting experience. That we got to go aboard ship. Uh, um, then they, but they signed those papers out there on the deck of the USS Missouri. There were so many people that I couldn't see them. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that was September the 2nd, or September the 15th, one. I can't remember. You know more about it than I do. No, I don't. I'm guessing here, but I apologize for that. That was September, anyway, of 1945. Uh -huh. So you're on board in Missouri when the surrender actually takes place. Yeah. When that, um, so after the surrender, you went back on board your Cape Orange? Yeah, that's right. What duty did you do after the surrender? Now, that was in Tokyo Bay, if I remember correctly, wasn't it? Did you go into Tokyo or any part city? Oh, no. I, I, never, I never left the ship. Okay. I was afraid to go, you know. They, they, they told us, never travel by yourself. Never go off the ship by yourself. We had to have at least two or three buddies. Mm -hmm. And there was, yeah, you weren't you weren't in a position to touch the Japanese at that time. Yeah. Well, how long did you stay over there after the surrender? It wasn't very long. And where did your ship dock at after the surrender? Did you go back to, uh, to the United States? Or? Yeah, we went back to Frisco. We went back to Frisco, San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Market Street. And where were you discharged at? Mm -hmm. Where did you get discharged at? What city? 
Chicago. I just, just, just joined in Chicago. I see. Um, and that was in March of 1946? March 18th, yeah. yeah. What did you do, catch a train from San Francisco back there? Oh, yeah. Now, at this point in time, do you have a, a girlfriend or, or anything? I never had a girlfriend. <clears throat> never had a girlfriend. Yeah. What did you do after you got discharged, John? Oh, I, uh, First thing you did was go home, right? Yeah. Cincinnati still? Right. 611 Wilkinson Street, Molly Hills. And what'd you do? Did you get a job? I caddied on a golf course. I caddied on a golf course. I caddied on a caddy. Which golf course? Kenway. Kenway. Now you're about 20. Uh, you're about 24 years old now. Yeah, right. That's pretty old to be a caddy, isn't it? Yeah. How long did you caddy? One? One or two years. And then what did you do? I'm trying to get you a history of your uh, life after the service. Mm -hmm. Weren't you an athlete? I played minor league baseball one year. Oh, yeah? I played for Tucson, Arizona. I see. In 1940. When? 1940. Oh, that's before you went to service. Yeah. Oh. Was that a farm team for somebody? Yeah, Cincinnati Reds. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. And you played there in 1940? Yeah. Um, After the war, they wanted me to come back. I said no, and I took a job as a mail carrier. Uh, when did you start to work for the mail, uh, United States Postal Service? Halloween night, and I didn't. Uh, no, I mean when you joined the Postal Service. It was Halloween night when you joined the Army, I mean the Navy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hard for me to remember all this stuff. When did you retire from the uh, Post Office? March 18, 1946. No, from the post office, not the Navy. Oh. How many years did you Ten. work? Huh? How many years did you work? 30, 30 years, 30 years. 30? Yeah. And when did you retire? January the 3rd. Nineteen sixty three, I think it was. Nineteen sixty three? Yeah. No. Not with thirty years. Um, he would have had to retire with thirty years somewhere uh, around seventy six. Nineteen seventy eight. No. Uh, retired nineteen sixty three. Okay. Well, that was pretty early in your life to retire. And what did you do after you retired? Because you were only 40, you would have only been 40 some years old in 1963. Oh, really? Uh, when did you meet your wife, John? I met her uh, January the 10th, 1946. And uh, we were married November 28th, 10 months later. We were married for 
66 years when she died, at age 92. You got married on November of 46? November 28th on Thanksgiving Day. Of 46? Yeah. And you were married 66 years? Yeah. And um, we what had, did... We had uh, three boys and one girl. The uh, pictures are up there. The, the, the extreme left pictures of the kids. Well, we John, did. Mike, Jim, <coughs> and Sally. John, Mike, Jim, and Sally. That's four children. Yeah. yeah. Um, did your wife work? Did I have a job? She had worked at Baldwin, but when we got married, she, she became a housewife. She worked where at Baldwin? Baldwin. At Baldwin Piano? Yeah. On Gilbert Avenue. On Gilbert Avenue. Yeah. It's no longer there. Right. Um, you said to me once uh, that you worked for uh, Clausen Company? Yeah. Um, Clausen Company, was that, what kind of a company was that? It was a furniture company. Furniture? Furniture. Where was that located at? Is at uh, 411 Ray Street. And what did you do for them? They had a workshop down on Pearl Street and I did upholstery, mm -hmm. put springs in chairs, tied the springs, put the cover on. Yeah. Are you five, here? five years. You were there five years? Yeah. Uh, and you, then I joined it and I became a beer carrier. I see. And uh, were you? I met my wife, uh, Bob Monte. He had a furniture company. He introduced me to my wife. Who? Bob Monte. B O N T E. M O N T A G. Oh, Monte. Yeah. yeah Bob Monte. Yeah. yeah. He had a furniture store. Uh huh. Yeah, up in Deer Park. Yeah. Okay. And what was your wife's name? Clara. Clara Ann Michaels. Clara Ann Michaels? Yeah. And where did she live? She lived over in uh, Newport, 1346 Grand Avenue. Yeah, right off the 10th Street there. Yeah. Uh, and so you, you met her through uh, Mr. Montag? Yeah. Uh, what was she doing for a living when you met her? She worked at Bowens. I see. She worked in the office. Uh -huh. And how long did you guys go together before you got married? Ten months. Ten months. I met her in January, and uh, we were married in November. I see. And you were working for who whenever you married her? Or your wife, I'm sorry. I was working for Clausen's. For Clausen's. Yeah. yeah. I worked for them for five years, and then I became a mail carrier. Did you ever hear of Volts, V-O-L-Z, upholstery company at 4th and Plum? It sounds very familiar. Uh, I'm just curious. Uh, they were right up the street from you there, uh -huh. on the corner at 4th and Plum. But, uh, so, uh, after you uh, had your five years with uh, Clausen's, you went to work for the post office? Yeah. Uh, what was your job as a postman? A mail carrier, house to house, walking. What was your, uh, did you have the same route all the time? Well, in the beginning, before I had my own route, they, they, they sent me different places all over Cincinnati, wherever, they, wherever, 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 wherever the regular railroad was all, I took his place. And then when I got my seniority, I got the route when I got retired in my hands, I got his route. That was my first route. Mm -hmm. Nine hands. And how long did you have that route? Oh. I guess it was about two years. And then, they, and then I went down by uh, Newberry's in Chilotoes. Yeah, downtown. Yeah. yeah. All total was about 30, or 30 years of carrying me all total. Yeah. Did you uh, stay downtown or did you get moved out of the route? No, I stayed, I stayed downtown. I see. Uh, you 
carry mail to businesses mostly. Oh yeah. Uh, Father, that's why it kept you in good shape. You were walking a lot. Oh yeah. yeah. I never did smoke and I never did drink. Uh, My mother said don't smoke cigarettes. I never smoked a cigarette. So you retired after 30 years with the post office. Yeah. And uh, do you recall what year you retired? I think it was uh, March 18, 1946. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was. Uh, that wasn't the day you retired because you had 30 years with the uh, post office and you had five years with Clausen so that I'm, I'm suspecting uh, you retired in the early 1980s. Oh no. I wasn't working then, no. I retired in 1963 from everything. From everything? Yeah. Okay. 1963. January the 4th. All right. And uh, did you have any hobbies after you retired, though? What kept you busy for the last uh, I, I enjoyed golf. Yeah. Where did you play a lot of golf at? Uh, or in Kentucky, Kenton County. Oh, yeah. Public course, nice. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot the name of the course. I think it's called Kenton County. Yeah. yeah. It's Kenton County. Yeah. I enjoy golf. I played for 37 years. Did uh, and uh, when, when did your wife uh, pass away? She died March the 10th, 2012. And you were married 66 years. Yeah. What high school, do you remember what high school your wife went to? She went to a high school over in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. and, and you had four children together? Three boys and one girl. They had pictures of right there. Uh -huh. They had an extreme left picture. Well, you, uh, you had a good life. You had a, you were very, Fortunate during the war that oh, yeah. none of the bombs hit you and none of the torpedoes. I've been lucky all my life. Yeah. And uh, and like my, like my mother said, I, I try to lead a clean life. Yeah. No smoking, no drinking. I drink one glass of beer, and that's all. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I've been here nine years. I haven't had a beer yet. I don't, I don't, I don't have any, no alcohol on board here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we were nearing the end of our interview. I wanted to, Neil, do you have any questions you'd like to ask Neil being our cameraman today? Uh, no, not right at this time, no. And John, is there anything else you wanted to add? I really like it to live in here at Twin Towers. Our daughter Sally, she went all over Kentucky, all over Cincinnati. She said, Dad, Twin Towers is the place. I agree. With and I'm glad, I'm glad I'm here. I agree with her. A very good place. I've been here nine years. Well, John, I want to take time to thank you so much for this interview, and I want to thank you for your service to our country during the war. And appreciate You're the welcome. time you spent with us. You're welcome. Too. Thank you. What did you, what did you say your name was? Yeah. Ray Hughes. Huh? Ray. Ray. Uh, yeah. Well, I thank you for the interview, Ray. Oh, it's my pleasure. I, I'll get you a copy of this.